Hi, YouTube. It's Dr. Rachel Langley from Pine Ridge Family Medicine in Colorado Springs. Back to talk with you about more personal things. It's kind of what I see myself as part of my calling as a doctor, is to talk about the things that you don't really want to talk about at all, let alone with a real human being. And looking online just makes you realize that Dr. Google says you have cancer every single time. So let's talk. We've, we've talked about pap smears. We've talked about rectal itching. Let's keep going. This is working out well. We've even talked about constipation, which feeds right into our conversation today about rectal bleeding. So what do you do? You just had a bowel movement, feeling pretty good. You go to wipe and there's blood. Obviously you're dying. It's been nice knowing you. No, 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 not really. Super common. The most common source of blood coming from that area is called hemorrhoids. What the heck is a hemorrhoid? And how do you spell it, right? If you ever tried to spell hemorrhoids, it's impossible. So I've written it right there just for you, just in case you want to Dr. Google it. Because if you Google blood in stool or rectal bleeding, you're going to come up with some probably more scary results than plain old hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. Everyone's got hemorrhoids. What are they? So you've got a lot of vascular supply along your rectum. Good thing to have. But those veins can sometimes get full of blood, especially if there's pressure pushing blood down there. So anything that makes you bear down, like having a hard bowel movement, constipation, even weightlifting or being pregnant kind of makes blood pool down in your rectal area and have trouble recirculating to where it's supposed to go. So the blood sitting in those veins kind of makes little balloons, little outpouchings of veins that cause problems. They're really irritated areas of skin, so they can kind of stick out. You can feel them. They sometimes feel like little skin tags hanging out from that area. And they all bleed really easily, especially if you have a hard bowel movement that kind of scratches the skin. They're more likely to bleed because there's all that blood just sitting underneath the surface of the skin. Um, they can also itch. They can also hurt. Or sometimes they can just have one of those symptoms. Or they can have all of them. It depends on how lucky you are. So that's what hemorrhoids are. And as you, as you could tell from my description, they're more likely to happen if you have constipation. They're also more likely to happen if you're really holding your breath while you weight lift. Try not to hold your breath so that you don't get that pressure build up so much. But sometimes with weight lifting, you get hemorrhoids no matter what. And same with pregnancy. Sometimes no matter what you do, no matter how soft your stool is, just having that weight in your belly kind of shunting the blood, preventing blood from circulating like it normally does, just causes hemorrhoids. Sorry, fact of growing older. So you've got hemorrhoids, you've got blood in your stool. What makes you think that they're hemorrhoids, Dr. Langley, instead of colon cancer? Because you might have read one of the first signs of having cancer somewhere along your intestines or in your colon is blood in your stool. Because one of the first things that cancer wants to do is to get the nutrient supply of, of your blood, to be able to tap into your blood to get calories and oxygen so that it, the cancer can thrive. So it's going to tap into that blood supply and it's going to end up causing some blood to go into your intestines and it'll come out the other end. Sometimes depending on where that cancer is growing in your intestine, it'll actually look dark or tarry because that's what partially digested blood looks like. So now that I've terrified you again that it's colon cancer, how do I even have an idea of which way to go? Well, first of all, oftentimes that colon cancer type blood is that black, dark, tarry blood. Are there other things that can cause that too? Absolutely. If you eat, take iron pills or eat a lot of steak or just one steak rich meal, um, sometimes your stool will come out looking dark or tarry. The question is, is that that's a common thing that's happening even if you're not on iron supplements and even if you don't have an iron rich meal like a steak and if you're still having black, dark, tarry stool, that's a reason to go in and talk with your doctor about what else could be going on. There are other things that can cause it too, but colon cancer is something that's pretty easily screenable. I know no one likes colonoscopies, but that's where you have a camera, look for colon cancer. And as far as things go, it's a good way to find out for sure whether you have colon cancer or not. Um, and now I lost my train of thought. Sorry.
So it's possible that the black tarry stool is being caused by something else, but that's more of a hint of cancer than bright red blood. Bright red blood, you know, has just come out of, or uh, was just bled out of wherever it came out in your body. So it's pretty close to the opening uh, where you're pooping. So that's a reassuring thing that you're not likely to have colon cancer as much as hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are super common, cause bright red blood right there. Another thing that can be indicative of colon cancer, systemic symptoms like losing weight without trying, having fevers, chills, night sweats, a lot that are going on, um, feeling just generally sick. I mean, it's you've got that feeling that something else is going on. And sometimes your stool will become more stringy. It'll change its, its caliber, if that makes sense, uh, because this, the stool is trying to squish by maybe a mass of cancer, so it's having to get thinner. So thick, fluffy stools are a sign of good colon health. Um, and if you're having thinner stools, the first thing to try would be to see if it's constipation and try reversing that. I have another handy video on constipation and things you can do about that. Back to hemorrhoids. So we think that you have hemorrhoids. We think that they're not colon cancer. Awesome. What do we do about them? We are trying to reduce constipation because that pressure of pushing out those hard stools are more likely to cause hemorrhoids. But then you've still got these little skin tags that are so obnoxious. Maybe they hurt, maybe they itch, maybe you just don't like that they exist. What do you do about those? They have lots of over-the-counter remedies that are actually really good. You want to use a steroid cream or foam of some sort to reduce those skin tags. Sometimes it takes a while, especially if they've been there for a while. Um, you're only supposed to use those uh, preparations like Preparation H or Anusol, Proctifoam, all good things, all available over the counter. Pick whichever you like. Use them about two or three times a day and you have to apply them or spray them up inside, especially for internal hemorrhoids that you can't feel, but you know they're there from the bleeding, itching, pain and uh, use that for about two weeks at a time. See if they go away, and you might have to keep repeating it. Sometimes every time you have constipation, a hard bowel movement, you have to start all over again with those hemorrhoid treatments. Sorry, but do your best to avoid constipation, and that should be a good way to avoid hemorrhoids too. Uh, if you've got resistant hemorrhoids that just won't go away, um, you might need to talk to your doctor about that. Or sometimes you can even get thrombosed hemorrhoids when you get a little blood clot in your hemorrhoid. That can be super -de duper -de duper painful. So if you've got one that's just way too painful to handle, go in and see your doctor. I promise we have heard weirder things than that you have blood in your stool or blood on the tissue when you wipe. Please don't be afraid to talk to us. We signed up for this gig so we could help you deal with your awkward things and we don't mind hearing you. We just want to help you feel better. So, see you soon here at Pine Ridge Family Medicine. Maybe to talk about hemorrhoids, maybe something else. All are welcome. <laughs> Thanks for watching.